guys up from Hooper's Eye. Uh, I'm a member of the Mills family, which my mother sent and my aunt in one of the first afternoon shows. Uh, she, uh, they got 50 cents to skin that year, is what they got. And uh, it was big money for them. I think the whole family uh, skinned in the competition. Uh, they were the first two girls to ever skin in there. Uh, I tried to get them to skin the night, but they won't do it. Uh, I think my aunt is 81 and uh, my mom's 83. Uh, but they'll be around here tonight. Uh, I won in 2003. I never did skin in the competition too much. Always paid back and uh, I pushed my son and my nephew. And then I went to my sister, uh, for my sister a little bit, and she started skinning. Uh, they offered me to die that they uh, talked me into it and I finally had one. Uh, the year that I won the men's, uh, my son won the junior, and my sister won the uh, uh, women. We're all going to win the same year. Uh, it's a, you want a good rat, is what you want when you're skinny. You want a rat that hopefully you, the guts won't bust on it, and that uh, it don't pull in half on you. Uh, skinny this rat, you got to be clean. You can't have no penalties at all. If you get a penalty, you're disqualified. Uh, if the nose is left on it, that's a penalty, so you're disqualified. If you cut your, if you cut it, or if you leave too much fur on the tail of the rat, that's another penalty that'll knock you out of it. Uh, and uh, you'll be seeing a lot of fast skinning tonight. Uh, we got uh, five of the best will be up there. I won't be skinning. I didn't qualify, uh, but I will be skinning in the form champs tonight. Uh, we'll also be skinning uh, in the neutral competition tonight, uh, which neutrals are almost extinct. extinct. I mean, we don't have them no more hardly, but uh, we wanted to skin one today, but they're just so scarce. Uh, and I was just down the hallway with the, uh, the neutral people, the USDA uh, Wetlands and Wildlife, and they told me that my son caught three uh, he didn't weren't aware that he was calling them, and he's going to get them so we can use them tonight. Is what he's done. I think, I believe that in a last year, he probably only caught The old way he used to be, he would stand on his tail, and we would cut it from this, from one leg down the side of the tail, from the other leg down the side of the tail, and and it, it took a lot longer to do it that way. Uh, I think L U Abbott and them is the ones that come up with the one cut. And what the one cut is, you make one cut across the back of that rat, is what you're gonna do. So you try to get you get you a good limber rat, that's what you want. You can't when you in the competition, you have to have your hands up like this. You have to have it up. When they say ready, sit, go, that's when you go. But what you do, you drop your hand and you pinch him. Pinch him right on that corner and get that leg up, and you shove your knife in and pull it out like that. That gives you one cut right across that tail. Then you grab him like this and you pull out like this and you try to roll him. You turn him right inside out like that. Okay, then you take, you try to rip that hind leg out. You rip that hind leg like that. That gives you free, now you gotta work on the belly. You take your knuckles, you drive your knuckles in like this, and you work that rat like that. When you get in there, you drive your knife back in here by the tail, and you make a cut like that. Then all you do, you pull him out like this, till you get to the front legs. Get to the front legs, and to right here, you take your thumb, drive your thumb in them like this, and pull them right out. Then, you, then we roll the rat over the other way, and uh, I always put my foot on my tail because it gives me a little more control. And you pinch him tight, you make one cut for both ears. You keep pulling, you make another cut for the eyes. You squeeze him up and you pull both eyes out like that. When you pull him tight, you cut one time down here, he's pulling in half. You see how that come off then? That's something you don't want. <laughs> 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 
slows you up. It's now, you're not disqualified, no, but it no. really slows you up. But then you got to remember that nose. You got to have that nose. And then you can pull. You got to cut that nose and pull it off. Now, if you watch the competition, you're going to see some of these boys tonight are going to take the chance and the gamble. They're not going to cut their nose. They're going to pull it and pray that they all come on the hide. If that nose is not on the hide, you're you're out of business. That's just the way it is. I mean, they put you to the back of the pack. Uh, You'll see some people tonight when they're skinning. Uh, I think it happened to my son last night. He left uh, one of these legs was left into the hide. Uh, he went, but he before he got up, he realized it and he pulled it out. But uh, but you know you got like I said, you got to have a clean rat. Even the eyes, if you uh, if you uh, I believe if, if, is it if you, you got to leave one eye into it. It's what you got to do. So it's uh, you're gonna you're gonna see some good competition tonight. I'm gonna tell you the way it is. Uh, I think uh, fifth to fifth to sixth and seventh last night was only a second and a half. So uh, the first and second was half a second. Yeah, yeah. First and second was only a half a second apart. So you you're gonna see some stiff competition tonight and. Uh, and uh, I think you're all going to enjoy it if you come here and look at it tonight. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to pick this one up a little bit. Maybe it won't bust open on me. Uh, also, you, you spin a neutral almost the same way as you skin a rust rat. Uh, we cut it across the back one time, same thing, rolling inside it, everything. The only problem is when you get to the head. When you get to the head on a nutria, especially if you've got a big one, you run into a problem when you get to his eyes and his nose, trying to get it all cut. Uh, it, it, they're a lot tougher at all. They've got two ways, two different ways they skin these nutria. They tack You'll see, if you're here tonight, you'll see one of them up here. Uh, we'll turn his nutria like this. He'll have it like this. He goes in, he'll cut around the smooth first and around that nose. And then he'll flip it over and start from the, from the tail way. That way, when he gets to that head, when he cuts the mirrors, and gets to the eyes, when he hits them eyes, all he's going to do is pull it. It's already, already taken care of. Uh, me and my son are both be skinning Nutra tonight when we'll be skinning them just like we skin a muskrat is, is how we're going to be skinning them tonight. Uh, and again, I wish I could have one here, but they're, uh, they've almost eradicated them right now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and skin this one out a little bit faster here. Okay, we're going to start like this. We'll slide that knife in like this. <coughs> Folding, punch that stomach ache. Which I got a bad one. But then you, you pull him on up and you see that gut busting. You got to keep going. You got to keep rolling. You can't stop. You got to go with what you got. Then squeeze him up, cut them ears out, cut her eyes. That's how you got to do it. But but if you look again, this rat here, that, that, that would not be, either one of them rats would have been a good rat for the competition tonight because this one the head come off of, and look, if you look at this one, his back is broke. So they, they would have been two very bad rats and all. Uh, does anybody have any questions? <laughs>
Introduce yourself. Randy, Randy Mertz. I am joining the Muskrat Festival. Is this your first year to judge Muskrat? Yes, sir. My very first year. And what do you do the rest of the week? The rest of the week, I'm trying to make a living. Doing? I own a small commercial painting company in Baltimore, D.C. area. And uh, is this your first uh, muskrat, uh, national muskrat contest? No, sir. I've been here about four years. Okay. It's been very enjoyable. And what's your opinion of the uh, nine entries that you ate today? I'll tell you. The, uh, Eleven entries. <laughs> Interesting, but all the flavors, none of them are paired with each other. It's very close to spectrum as far as the flavors. Everybody sees them differently. Sees them differently, that's right. None of them are heavy and taste are very good. So the flavor profile was pleasant? Every, every single bit, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. $15. For specialty muskrat, second prize is Rhonda Aaron with her muskrat and buttery hot sauce. First prize was Rhonda Aaron with her barbecue muskrat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Spicer with the National Outdoor Show. Um, we cook about uh, 34 gallons of oysters here every year, serving and soft shell crabs. We do probably eight to 15 uh, dozen, or maybe more than that. I'm not real sure. Uh, a lot of hamburgers, a lot of crab cakes. We usually cook. Uh, about 25, we usually have about 25 boxes of crab cakes every year. Uh, How many in a box? Uh, 24. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, we just, uh, uh, <laughs> it's good food and good eating, and uh, you know, we, we like to do it. <laughs> and, uh, Where do the proceeds go? Uh, all, all the proceeds go back into the, the community. We make a lot of donations to our <laughs> fire companies and the school. We make donations here to the school, and uh, we do. Uh, we uh, the Boy Scouts come help us. They do some of the parking. The local fire companies provide the ambulance, and, and, uh, and they do the parking also. Take care of the parking down there. Uh, our parking's done at Golden Hill Storage down here, and uh, Mr. Alan Malk, he, he always provides that for us. And, uh, if we didn't have that, we couldn't do this. Okay. Hi. All right. Hello, my name's Justin Firth. We're at the National Outdoor Show in Dorchester County. Um, today, I'm going to be fixing an hors d'oeuvre called Oysters Hanks. Um, got a couple quarts of oysters I brought with me. And it's an old recipe. Man used to come quail hunting on our farm. Um, would always make up for an hors d'oeuvre at lunchtime. There's no measurements that I know of. Nothing's ever been written down. It's just sort of to taste. So I'm going to get started on it. All right. Start with a little butter in the pan. Then I add the oysters, let them cook down some, and go from there.
just cook on its own just a little bit. It's really hot, excuse me. <laughs> Are these wild harvested? We harvest them this year. And it's just a little bit of seasoning. I put uh, bacon on top of it, and what the bacon does, it actually keeps it from drying out. Plus, it also gives it a little bit of flavor. You don't really taste the bacon actually in the breast itself, but it helps it from drying out. We'll slice that up for you in just a few minutes. What temp? I'm sorry? What temperature is the oven? 350. 350. And it'll cook for about 30 minutes. And then the best thing about meat is when you take it out, Wherever you prepare, whether it's on a grill or an oven, you need to let it rest so it actually retains the juices. So when you slice it, it's not dry. There you go. But you normally cook this on a grill. Yes, I do. And obviously, I couldn't use a grill today or I'd be running in and out. Gas outside. or charcoal? I'm sorry? Gas or charcoal? Yes. Gas. Gas go. Yes. Okay. So you let these oysters drain a little while in the colander. Yes. Yeah, I was just getting some of the juice out of them and put them in here, let them cook up a little bit. Now my aunt was down visiting and we fixed this up one night and of course she told me I was doing it wrong. She doesn't, she prepares her sauce and then puts the oysters in, where I cook the oysters down a little bit and then fix the rest of the sauce. And I'm used to cooking on a gas stove, so. I'm going to get the other quart and start draining it. So I'll get eat. We'll see. Talk about what you're doing. Um, serve them over a little piece of toast. Put an oyster in each on each piece. Then we'll add a little a little sauce to it, maybe. Don't want the bread too soggy. What do you figure your internal temp is? 180 or thereabouts? Yes. It's not quite as rare as I like it. It should be a little bit more pink. Is it a special recipe? Yeah. <laughs> Yours? Um, no, it's called Oyster Tanks. And a guy that used to come to Whale Hunter when I was a kid would always make it after an appetizer at lunchtime. Uh, it's never been written down, it's all the taste. Yeah, well, you got it all you Hi, I'm Wayne Wheeler from East of Rio. We're down here at Church Creek for the 66th uh, National Outdoor Show. We have the Grass Skating Competition, the Decoy Competition. We want to pay close attention to the Decoy Competition, especially the Wood Ducks, which I carve. I'm in real estate with Caldwell Banker. I've been part of the people this for about 10 years. Yeah. Welcome to Dorchester County. Thank you. Thank you.